Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Monday Morning European Outlook. We're going to have a look at weather the coming week across the continent. Uh, didn't do it last week because it's back on Monday and I was away as well. So it's returned after a one week break. Hopefully all being aware that we'll go through now um, up towards Christmas. Can you believe we're beginning to think about that? Um, still some time away, though, of course. But it won't be all that long before the updates uh, of Christmas starting at Gaza. But anyway, we're off on a tangent uh, already. So let's get back to the European outlook. We're going to have a look at the charts for the coming week across the continent. Um, a lot of high pressure influences this week, so I don't think you're going to have to worry too much about rain uh, through most of the week. A lot of dry weather, but it's not going to be all that warm under that high pressure, really. Uh, at the moment, it feels very autumn across many parts of Europe. I think temperatures will recover a bit later on in the week, but uh, certainly nothing particularly hot coming up. Um, for the foreseeable future. Well, very along with that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages of Gazzos. If you can't have a browse widgets, any articles that you're interested in, please click through. You're about to go off and read the article. And thanks very much for doing that. So let's start off with today's uh, chart. We've got high pressure dominating across the West, so through the UK, Ireland, going down into France, um, also through much of Belgium and Holland as well. High pressure is very dominant. Now, to the east of that high pressure, which is really through Scandinavia, uh, eastern parts of Germany, Poland, um, Ukraine going towards Black Sea, and then anywhere southeast of that is relatively unsettled. And this trough of low pressure over Scandinavia and Western uh, Europe is putting down some really very cool air from the north. This shows up better on the upper air temperature. You can see it's a pretty cool sea now across many parts of the Europe. Um, the Scandinavian winter appears to have arrived, uh, autumn winter I should say, appears to arrive, have arrived across Scandinavia and cool air is digging through the Baltic into all those northeastern countries. Well in fact many parts of Europe cooler than average, even going down to the Mediterranean. The temperatures are pretty modest really uh, for the 7th of September. You have to go down towards North Africa and the very very far southeast Europe into parts of Greece and Turkey to find some uh, genuinely hot air, but many places are uh, cooler than you would expect. For amount of dry weather uh, today, the wettest area is really in the northeast of uh, Europe, so around the Baltic. Heavy showers, if not thunderstorms, or longer spells of rain up there. We've got some showery rain through parts of Germany and Poland as well, maybe a few showers through the low countries, but much of France and many parts of the Med actually dry. A road thunderstorm perhaps through Greece, and it's something a little bit wetter down here across the southeast of Spain, interestingly, so around the costas, uh, I think we get a few thunderstorms down there, um, but otherwise a lot of dry weather uh, through the holiday spots in the Mediterranean. So these are today's really quite disappointing temperatures. We're just into the teens Celsius across many parts of the uh, continent today. So the UK is somewhere around 17 or 18. Ireland is just 15. Um, Germany 16, 17. Poland 16, 17. Um, and east of that can't really make it out. But going up to the northeast Europe, it actually gets a little bit cooler than that. And over Scandinavia as well, just into the low teens Celsius in those areas. It is warm through the Mediterranean, of course. Temperatures are still into the mid 20s Celsius, so around 25, 26 degrees, 77 in Fahrenheit. But that is down on what you would expect at this time uh, of the year. Being a part of the week sees that high pressure sort of relocating to Scandinavia. It's going to be dominating the weather across many parts of Europe, actually, uh, through the middle part of the week. Those cool temperatures continue, maybe improving a little bit under that area of high pressure, just really with the strength of the sun starting to boost the temperatures a bit. But overall, nothing really all that hot showing up. It is warming up a bit down across Spain and at southern parts of France. Uh, risk of some heavy showers and thunderstorms in the central bowl of Mediterranean uh, midweek. Quite interesting. So Corsica and Sardinia uh, may be at risk of a thunderstorm. Possibly the Bali Arak Islands as well around Bajorca, Minorca and Ibiza. I wouldn't rule out a thunderstorm down there. And possibly just approaching the southern tip of Italy. It's drier though for the costas across Spain. So much of Spain and Portugal mostly dry as is France, UK, Ireland, low countries, many parts of Germany, Denmark and Scandinavia looking dry under that ridge of high pressure. And the showers in the east and the northeast um, around the Baltic Sea, they're easing down as well through the middle part of the week. But there will still be some uh, showers around. 
temperatures are still pretty cool, really, across many parts of Europe. The south of France is warming up a bit, going down to 27 or 28 degrees there, so around 80 Fahrenheit, a little bit better. Uh, and still pretty warm through the Med. Nothing particularly exciting, but certainly uh, the warmest temperatures are there. But uh, really, through many central northern parts of Europe, those temperatures are still pretty disappointing uh, for the time of year. Germany, uh, for example, at just 17 degrees. Um, Denmark, possibly up to around 19, not too bad, I don't suppose, to them. And uh, Poland at around 19 uh, degrees at best. Now, high pressure really is dominating over Scandinavia by the time you get through to Friday at 1,035 millibars. It's bringing easterly winds across many parts of the Europe and dragging up some slightly warmer air into the west of Europe as well. So, uh, under the high pressure itself, generally quite chilly. And the thing you will notice with that, particularly at night, is that it comes some very cool nights here across central parts of Europe. It's a bit warmer across France, Spain and Portugal. Gen genuinely hot across much of uh, Spain by the end of the week. Fairly warm through Mediterranean, but nothing uh, particularly to write home about. Loads of dry weather as well on Friday. A few showers scattered around, um, but they're generally quite light and not really amounting to too much. So from Ireland and Portugal in the west up towards Russia in the northeast, um, loads of dry weather uh, with just some showers, and most of those are light through the central parts uh, of Europe. Temperatures staging a little bit of a recovery, going up to around 20 or 21 in many places, but still nothing really to write home about it, except across uh, France, where they do look a good deal hotter, up to 28 to 29 for the south of France, is around 85 Fahrenheit. You can't really see it, but central Spain could be back up towards 30 or 31 degrees. That's around 88 Fahrenheit by uh, Friday. As we go through into a weekend, there's a lot of uncertainty, but it looks as though the uh, high pressure going to start to lose its influence from the west anyway. starts to recede back in towards western parts of Russia as low pressure begins to take over from the Atlantic across western parts of the Europe. Now, in between this low pressure in the west, that ridge up to the northeast, we could start to drag up some very hot air uh, into the east and the southeast of Europe um, next weekend. But if we do that, I think there will be a risk of some uh, severe thunderstorms. You can see the heat beginning to push back northwards again out of North Africa through the central bowl of Mediterranean up into the southeast of Europe. It's a cool scene across Scandinavia and it's generally quite a cool scene still uh, in the northwest through uh, Ireland and, the, uh, and uh, the UK, northern parts of France as well. Um, so we've got cloud and outbreaks of rain coming into the west of Europe. Some heavy rain threatening uh, western Portugal and north uh, western parts of uh, Spain. Some showers through the Bay of Biscay pushing northwards in towards northern France, the UK and Ireland. So those could be heavy and thundery. Um, risk of some showers through Denmark and some parts of uh, Norway and Sweden. And then we've got these heavy and um, violent thunderstorms beginning to break out through Corsica, Sardinia and going up towards northern parts of Italy and into eastern parts of France as well, uh, and that's been uh, developing, those sorts of developing with those southerly winds coming out of um, out of North Africa. To the southeast Europe, over the Adriatic into the Balkans, southeast Europe, it's mainly dry at this point, but I think as the heat increases, if it's if it does pan out like this, there will be a growing threat of storms in the southeast of Europe. Uh, temperatures are rising in the southeast Europe. So um, there's Italy just there. We go to around 30 degrees in some parts of Italy. If we go over the Adriatic into the uh, Balkans, temperatures there are going up to sort of 31, 32. That's around 90 Fahrenheit but with an increasing risk of violent thunderstorms breaking out with time. Um, pushing northwards, it's a warmer scene through Germany and Poland as well, with temperatures to be 20 Celsius. Conversely, it's cooling down in some parts of France, and it remains cool throughout, really, across the UK and for Ireland as well. So, in summary, it's going to be a, a mainly dry week across large parts of Europe this week. There will be rain in specific areas, but I hope you've got the idea from this that there's going to be a lot of dry weather uh, coming up with high pressure dominating. Temperatures, though, nothing to write home about. Really very uh, lowly temperatures for early September across most parts, particularly evident at about high pressure in central northern Europe at night with some very cool nights indeed. Uh, as we get through towards next weekend, it could start to turn hotter in the south and the east. But uh, the compensating factor of that, there could be some uh, thunderstorms breaking out, and probably turning much more unsettled from the Atlantic through the UK, Ireland and France uh, by next weekend. And that could herald a proper 
descent into autumn. I'll say no more than that. That's all for now. Have a great week. Thanks for watching.